Thank you for watching BRTC. Yeah, thank you for watching our channel. And yeah, I just kind of zoned out there trying to remember exactly what her name is, but it's BRTC Community. Anyways, here's a humble bundle update. I don't know if you've been waiting for it, but here we go. We got a humble bundle update. As you see here, we have the Home Bundle Square Enix bundle, and sadly, yes, I did come to this with four days left. But with these four days left, you now actually get all of the games instead of hidden games. That's better. <laughs> it's kind of annoying when you buy a bundle and then find out later that it's more games that you wanted come came out, and you're just like, no, 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 no. But anyways. Let's move on to actually seeing what's here and what people could want from here. So you see here, all the games here I recommended from having played, I would say Tomb Raider and from good news from people, Sleeping Dogs. But those are both $15 and is it worth it for those two games alone? Well, that's kind of debatable. Because Tomb Raider goes on sale quite often and it's been recently like six bucks for it and all the DLC and stuff. So it doesn't seem like Tomb Raider would be worth it, but Sleeping Dogs I don't really know much about. I know quite a few people like recommend it, and I know if you come here and you click on this, you can get like a full kind of rundown plus some um, the game trailer and stuff. Plus, since it's an old enough game, you can probably get some reviews on it too. With that being said, I don't know if um, Sleeping Dogs is exactly, well, this one is riding on Sleeping Dogs being worth it and what you think about these other games as well. So let's move on there. But if you're just getting Tomb Raider, I'd just say wait until a Steam sale because it's going to be a whole lot cheaper than paying 15 bucks for it. Plus you get more content. More content's always good. Moving on, we now have Hitman Absolution right here. And I've heard like quite a few people enjoy this game. And since this is on the lowest tier of this bundle system, you don't have to pay very much to get Hitman Absolution. So this is your cheapo that you can just get whenever you feel like. And that's awesome. That, that's a great deal to have right there. So you can get this if you want it pretty cheap if you don't own it. And I've heard good things about it. I haven't played it. I've only played Tomb Raider in this whole bundle. <laughs> kind of sad. <laughs> oh, well. Moving on. I've been recommended it, and so that would be good. You get Supreme Commander 2. And... Well, it's also the lower tier, so... It's always good news to have that in the lower tier. Because... <laughs> You know, if you're not really into the the RTS genre, the real-time strategy, it's kind of hard to actually want to play this game. <laughs> but if you're into it, then you might as it's cheap. Pick it up. Go for it. You gotta remember, though, some of this money goes to charity as well as the developers and stuff. So, hey, just getting a game, it's a little better than just buying it on Steam for lulz. <laughs> And now we have Hitman Go. And Hitman Go is for those Android users. I have no clue how you exactly use this, but you got Android and you want this little game. In the lower tier bundle, this is you're gonna get it as well. And now you go oh, it's giving me Tomb Raider. Don't need Tomb Raider, I'm sorry. Thief! Well, here's the thing about Thief. Like, th this Thief, yeah, it's just a reboot. And, like, I've heard it not being recommended because it's not like the previous Thieves. And the other thing is, you got, like, a difficulty slider around on the PC. You can kind of play around with what difficulty you want it as. And so... I'm not exactly certain whether or not people would like this or not, because I haven't played it, but if you kind of want a stealth-based game, I think you might actually enjoy it. If you like the old Thieves, then it probably wouldn't bother with it. 
But this bundle is actually pretty worth it, though. If you think about it, you can get some decent games, and then you can just donate to charity and get a bunch of other games that you can throw in your library and do nothing with. But besides, you can probably check out this Thief game for relatively cheap. It is fairly new. It came out, I think, in 2014, so just last year, about a year ago, precisely. So it might be worth looking into. Murdered Soul Suspect. If I remember correctly, yeah. It's a puzzle game where you kind of lead somebody else around, too. Not really certain about this game. Probably should do some more research next episode. But I had no clue about any of these games, so... It's kind of going to be like that. But this... So Suspect, it looks like... If I remember, like, all my reviews correctly, it was kind of frustrating, but at the same time, it is a puzzle game. So if you want to play a puzzle game, might as well play it, eh? <laughs> and Dusex Human Revolution Director's Cut, so... It's for those who... Want their, uh... You want some Dusex there? There you go. It's pretty much there. You can get, like, Human Revolution, which is I think, a fairly recommended game. You can get the director's cut now instead of the normal cut. I don't know the differences. But it's here, so if you want to play that, go ahead. Apparently, it's got an interesting story you can check out quickly and look at. But it's moving on. The Canyon Lynch Collection, which means it's a bunch of old games together. Hey, look, it's got Candy Lynch Deadman, Candy Lynch 2 Dog Days, Candy Lynch 2 The Doggy Bag, Candy Lynch 2 Alliance Weapon Packs, Candy Lynch 2 Multiplayer Mass Pack. Okay, so there's a note on German version of this game, it's Low Violet's Edition. I never really thought the Germans would have lower violence. I thought that'd be the Australian edition. I'm sorry, Australians, but we give you flack, but your government's kind of interesting. But the German edition? Hmm. hmm. Could be possibly be the German edition. I can kind of see that, but I'm not exactly certain. All right, but this is a collection of a bunch of older games, and you can enjoy all these games. Within the slower tier, the seven 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 dollars and seventy seven tier bracket of unlocking, you got your fifteen dollars and your anything dollars. Now you got your minimum this many dollars. So let's move on to two more Square Enix. Oh, wonder if they're having a sale on Square Enix games. Hmm, well, that might be worth it. Here's Laura Croft in the Guardian of Light. If I remember correctly, let's see what this video has right here. Actually, no, I probably... But, I think this is like a top-down <clears throat> game. I think it's top-down, so... It's not your typical Tomb Raider. I think it's like a top-down puzzle-solving combination characters... Something to look into if you have some interest in it, but I'm not exactly certain about it. Just something to look into. Start. Start Topia. Duh. Wow. I have never heard of this game. But apparently, you're supposed to rebuild a network of space stations and attract alien races to it. So. It's probably a puzzle game. And a strategy game as well. Yeah, a puzzle and a strategy game. I'm pretty certain this is going to be a... Yep, begins a hilarious battle. Wits and cunning. It's supposed to be also a humorous game. I have no clue if it managed to do any of those, but... That is what it's supposed to be, and... It's on the bundle there, so... What the heck. 
And there's make a wish. Oh, it's going to make a wish in Game Day. I know neither of. Let's quickly go to the humble store quickly and see what this um if there is a deal going on here. So oh wait, so if you just want sleeping dogs, you can get it for seven forty nine. For uh, seven fifty. If you want the thief collection, it's all the thief. Then yeah, I like the Tomb Raider collection. If you want all the Tomb Raiders, you can get that too. And so they're having a decent sale here, but I've seen all these games on sale for cheaper at Steam. So you want cheaper games? Probably wait for a Steam sale. But this is a decent price if you want something to play now and you want a bunch uh, any of these games. They are on sale currently, and. So hey, stuff to look into if you want to look into it and stuff. Well, if you want to look into it, you got this giant list of things on sale, and it's going to be even bigger. So anyway, let's check out the Steam's the Humble Bundle store for that. Let's move on from Humble Bundle to the Weekly Bundle. So that's the Square Enix Bundle too. And it's like a decent price. It's it's kind of debatable whether or not it's worth it. There's a few games on there, but another games I kind of not so certain about because they weren't really reviewed heavily, like reviewed really well. But hey, if you're looking for a bunch of games to either just make your library look bigger, or to actually play, might as well go for it. Now let's check out this weekly bundle, and it's made in Japan. Oh boy! And it's ten dollars for the whole thing. And I know nothing, none of these games whatsoever, but it looks like you have at least some, um, live book editions. I can never remember what the it's exactly called, but it's like you got some of those at least, and then you got some influent in language. What is this? It might be another game. Oh, a learning game! <laughs> okay. That's interesting. That might be fun to play with, actually. I'm gonna... Yeah. Then you got Magical Battle Fiesta here. Yeah. I think that it's one of those, um... Yeah, actually, it looks like it's got 3D in here. I was kind of expecting some 2D li anime live-action game, but apparently I'm wrong. But it's got some 3D. I may or may not create a series on it. I don't know. I'm kind of having fun just picking random games and just, like, finishing up a thing and then just going for the next game. Like my, uh, <laughs> Shalu game. Series. Yeah, I picked up, like, the whole thing for 75 cents on Steam. <laughs> and then I just proceeded to have find it kind of more entertaining. And moving on, we got like this revolver reactor, which um it's a shooter. I'm not sure if it's rail or if it's actual open. You have the tell of all can. This looks like a 2D game, made 3D game. Yeah, hey, but you got a whole collection of games, so the heck, why not? You got Ryan Barta. And it's a Japanese version. It looks like an RPG. And then you have a half minute here. This looks like old school RPG! <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> kind of old schools are pretty entertaining. The speediest homage to JRPGs. You can save the world in 30 seconds. <laughs> For some strange reason, I actually now want to create a series on that game. <laughs> Just because you can save the world in 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, well, these are the humble bundles here that are currently going on. Remember, this weekly one's got about a week until basically next Thursday. 
And this other Humble Bundle is until Monday, I believe. Might be a little later. Might be Tuesday. Is there four days? Let's quickly check. Yeah, it looks like it might be Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. So, that being said, I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching the FTC Network channel, community. I cannot say it right anymore. But, that being said, I apologize for the not as so great as my uh, Star Wars one is, but it kind of happens when you haven't played most of the games, and you just kind of feel like you need to report on them so people know they exist, and you can catch some games for a decent price. And you can catch a lot of games for a decent price here, and that's what I think I like about this series, is making it here, the, so you can catch games for a decent price. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy and have a good day.